I wanted to write some music inspired by Hamilton Mausoleum that stands at the edge of Strathclyde Park in Lanarkshire in Scotland. It's striking and strange and it's one of my favourite buildings. Alexander, the 10th Duke of Hamilton, ordered its construction in the 1840s, but he had been dead five years by the time it was completed in 1858. His mummified body was eventually interred there in an Egyptian sarcophagus on a plinth. Nowadays it stands empty. 37 metres tall, a monument to proud wealth. Hamilton Mausoleum has one of the longest echoes of any man-made building. I remember on a childhood visit, the museum guide slammed the old bronze doors. And it sounded like a cross between thunder and the end of the world. I wrote music inspired by the building and its stories, its whispering walls, the tenth duke himself, and a lullaby for the stone lions that guard the entrance to the family crypt. On Thursday the 10th of November 2016, I rehearsed with soloists from the Scottish Festival Orchestra, Justine Watts and Stuart Webster on violins, Emma Peebles on viola, cellist John Davidson, and harpist Sharon Griffiths. The next day, we set up to record with sound engineer Ian Hutchison. I was going to ask if you guys could take from 52 to the end of it. <laughs> Do you get the crows? <laughs> We would be working in a big stone building with no central heating late in the Scottish autumn. I brought blankets and hot water bottles and the musicians wore big coats, woolly hats and fingerless gloves. Every time we went for a take, we had to be silent waiting for the echoes of any noise to die down before the players could begin. and at the end of each performance, we had to stay quiet and still while the reverberant tail of the music faded back down slowly to silence. The daylight dimmed and the room got darker and colder, the musicians eventually playing by candlelight. <laughs> 